Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In today's quick tutorial we're going to be creating a Web 2.0 background. So let's get right to it. I have a background layer here which I've just created which is a blank layer and I'm going to fill it with a subtle background. Now um, to fill it properly with a subtle background I'm first going to make a white or rectangle just to fill the layer with something. Then I'm going to hit Control T and Control r or Command r and Command t if you're on a Mac to pull up the rectangle boxes and uh, and to pull up the rulers and I'm gonna just put, put two rulers here and they'll snap to the middle and that'll tell me where the guidelines are. Now the rulers don't form part of the design they're just there to guide me and then I'm gonna create a gradient background and the reason I've used the rulers is so I can tell exactly where the middle point is on my canvas which is 800 by 400 and this gradient is a subtle gradient from a, a, a light grey to an even lighter grey and it's radial and reversed so the light grey will start here so I'll just drag that from one uh, from the center to the furthest point possible which is the corner there so the it will just turn grey right at the end and in fact that's probably too, too uh, harsh a gradient so I'll drag it out a bit further to about there that looks good. And I'm going to hit Command R to. Uh, actually, no, I'll keep the rulers for now. The next thing I'm going to do is very simply just create um, some text. And I'm going to just call this Design Site. I've used um, the Helvetica font. And if you notice, my tracking is on minus 25. Now, here's where you, um, you'll notice that simple changes can make a big difference. I'm going to just take the first word. Notice, of course, I haven't spaced the words. I'm going to take the first word and change the font type to bold and keep the second type as regular. I'm going to take the first type and use a, a nice neutral blue color. I'm going to take the second word, uh, click back here on the color palette, use the color picker to select the same blue, but use a darker version. And already you can see this is looking quite nice and it's looking quite uh, quite Web 2.0. And uh, I'm going to hit Command T or Control T to bring up the bring up the control um, the transform box and I'm going to put it in the middle and just increase the size a bit and make sure it stays in the middle and on the ruler line there. And in fact, we're almost done. All I'm going to do now is create one more text layer um, by just clicking with the text tool anywhere. And I'm going to make this light. And I'm going to say www.designsite.com. What I'm then going to do is put this in the middle, make this as small as I can, about 30 points, I think. And I'm going to change the color to a dark gray, a bit darker than the gray here. So just here, a bit lighter perhaps. And you notice then what I'm going to do is just increase the tracking to about 150 so it forms there and in fact I might uh, make this all caps now I'll keep it I'll keep it lower and there you have a very simple three and a half minute tutorial for creating a very nice web 2.0 logo background website header anything you want it's a very simple technique, and the uh, the the com combination of the um, the neutral the neutral subtitle here and the stylized header here is actually really popular right now. So I suggest you start using this to make as many designs as you possibly can. It's a very simple process to follow. Again, you just pick a color, any color, and for the second word, you pick the same color and darken it. Of course, you can use your own uh, own techniques and do do whatever you want. So you can make the second word uh, lighter. You could make the second word a different font. In fact, you could make the second word. Uh, I could change the font of the second word just to uh, mix things up a bit. But I find it works well with two variations of the same font. So I'm using Helvetica bold and Helvetica regular. So there you are, four and a half minutes, how to create a brilliant web background, and I'll see you soon.